Hello everyone, welcome to today's session of Topic of the Day. In this edition, we are going to discuss the Financial Services Institutions Bureau. So this topic has come up in news as recently the government has transformed the Banks Boards Bureau that is the BBB into the Financial Services Institutions Bureau by making some amendments. Now this topic is important from economic section. In fact, a question in the prelims was asked this year only from the Banks Boards Bureau. So before discussing the major changes, let us first see what is this organization. Now the Banks Board Bureau is an autonomous body of the government of India. It is not a statutory or a constitutional body. It is an autonomous body or you can say it is a public authority and it is based on the recommendations of the RBI appointed Nayak Committee. Now the Nayak Committee was set up in January 2014 and it was also known as the Committee to Review Governance of Boards of Bank in India. So in the year 2016, the Bank's Board Bureau was set up by the government with an aim to select executive directors, managing directors and chief executives of the public sector banks and financial institutions. Now, the public sector banks are the banks wherein share of the government is greater than 50%. We can say it is a government bank. For example, the SBI. Another one are the financial institutions. For example, we have the NABARD. We have SIDB. We also have the National Housing Bank, NHB, etc. Now, the Banks Boards Bureau used to give the recommendations on the appointments, but the final decision was taken by the Ministry of Finance and that was in consultation with the PMO. Now, this organization aimed at improving the governance and the boards of public sector financial institutions. Here, a key fact to note is that the Secretary of Department of Financial Services, the Secretary of Department of Public Enterprises and a Deputy Governor of RBI. That means three officers are the permanent member or the ex-officio members of the Bank's Boards Bureau. Now let us discuss on some of the major changes that took place. So the guidelines for selection, that is for general managers and directors of public sector general insurance companies have been made a part of the FSIB, that is the Financial Services Institutions Bureau. And also the Appointments Committee of the Cabinet, the ACC, has asked the Department of Financial Services to carry out necessary modifications in the nationalized bank's scheme of 1970-80 with the approval of the finance minister. Now the ACC that is the appointments committee of the cabinet decides the appointments to the several top posts under the government of India. Therefore after this revamp the board that is the FSIB will be able to recommend full-time appointments at the financial institutions. Now let us discuss why was there a need for this move. So first of all, the Delhi High Court last year stuck down the BBB stating that it is not a competent body to select general managers and directors of the state-owned general insurers. Therefore, some of the newly appointed directors of non-life insurers had to vacate their positions. Now, another reason was the slow recruitment process. So despite the BBB's good work, the recruitment to higher level was slow. Now let us discuss some of the functions. So first of all, the most important function is to recommend the selection and appointment of board of directors in mandated institutions. So it just recommends, but the final decision on appointment is made by the finance ministry that is in consultation with the PMO. Now these mandated institutions include the public sector banks as well as state owned financial institutions. Secondly, it also advises the central government on the desired management structure at these institutions, that is at the level of board of directors and senior management. Also advises on the formulation and enforcement of the code of conduct and ethics for the managerial personnel in these institutions. Another one is also to advise the government on the evolving suitable training and the development programs. And lastly, to help the banks in terms of developing business strategies and capital raising plans. So now the bank's board bureau that is the BBB has been struck down and instead of that we have the Financial Services Institutions Bureau that is the FSIB. So recently the former chairperson of the BBB that is Mr. Banu Pradap Sharma has been appointed as the chairperson of the FSIB with a term of two years. So this was a little bit about the topic. Let's move on to one practice question. So with reference to the bank's board bureau the BBB which of the following statements are correct? First, the governor of RBI is the chairman of this organization. Secondly, it recommends for the selection of heads of public sector banks. And third, BBB helps 
the public sector banks in developing strategies and capital raising plans you have to select the correct answer using the codes given below you can write your answers in the comment section so let's check the answer first statement is wrong it states that the governor of rbi is the chairman of bbb that is wrong the second statement is correct it recommends the selection of heads of public sector banks and third statement is also correct that it helps the public sector banks in developing strategies and capital raising plans so the correct option is option number b that is 2 and 3 only and with this we call it a wrap of today's edition of topic of the day i hope you like the video i will see you with some other topic tomorrow till then take care and do stay tuned